Hello, 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 and welcome to the final episode of my vlog. If I had to do it all again for 2023, I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing with you today something that I'm going to be stepping into at the beginning of 2024 and also sharing a little bit about why this is really important for me and how you're going to see this, this vlog shift or change in the beginning of 2024 at the end of January. So from today until the end of January, you're not going to see me on this vlog. You'll still see me for the energy forecast of the weekend. If any other videos decide to channel through me in order for me to begin sharing about business energy and how understanding that the energy within yourself really impacts the way that you're able to lead with a soul-filled, heart-filled service in the world. So back to the blog. What I'm going to be stepping into in the beginning of 2024 is something called monk mode. Now I've done a lot of research about monk mode by a lot of dudes, no less. I had a hard time finding any women that were t sharing about doing monk mode and the experience that that had on their life and their business. So I'm really excited to be one of the few women who are going to be sharing about this experience and bringing it forward to you in a way uh, through the lens of energy, um, because that is the lens in which I see the world. So monk mode for me is is you know, if you look it up, is going to be going into a container of three months at the beginning of 2024, where I'm going to be focusing my attention on learning a skill. That skill is going to be YouTube. You know, there's monk mode looks like you have a bunch of different things that you do. There's no alcohol generally in monk mode. You don't want any distractions taking you from the very thing that you're going to be placing your time and attention on. I'm going to be looking at no drugs, so that means no weed, no, any, you know, you do mushrooms, psilocybin, LSD, I don't do those things, um, but you don't really want, you don't want to be including those. Uh, I don't drink caffeine, sometimes in monk mode, that's a thing as well. You have a dedicated amount of time that you're giving every single day to learning the skill that you want to be placing your attention on. For me, that's going to be three hours, broken into two 90-minute sessions. Um, you really have an outcome that is clear. My goal is to, you know, get to a thousand followers on YouTube. And I hear if you press the like button over here, that helps me uh, hit the algorithm a little differently. So I will be dedicating time and energy into getting my YouTube up to a thousand followers and learning all about the YouTube algorithm, all about what I, I can do to be in the highest service to you guys, how I can get the message of energy healing for spiritual entrepreneurs into the world, into your heart, and into you being able to turn your magic into money. Because ultimately, I do believe as spiritual entrepreneurs, we have the capacity, we already have. So uh, I'm just like starting two sentences and not finishing them because I'm getting really excited. Um, as highly sensitive people, as empaths, as those with spiritual gifts, you have an unfair advantage over everybody else in your industry. And that is something significant and something profound and oftentimes not looked at as being a positive in the world of, you know, being an empath, being a healer, being highly sensitive. It's often like people feel like they have to retract with that information. And I absolutely don't think that's true. I think that this gives you an edge that is beyond anybody else's. Like I worked with a really incredible human who worked in the pharmaceutical industry, but she was also a medical intuitive which she wasn't telling anybody about so she could actually read what was wrong in <laughs> their body uh, to know which supplementation to put them on. But she was so petrified of sharing that information because it felt like nobody would desire her services anymore. But I'm telling you right now, it is an unfair advantage. It sets you apart from everybody else in this really chaotic, over flooded industry of the world where there's many people doing many things. You have something that nobody else has and it's time to recognize and step into the potency and the power of that unfair advantage. So it gets me super dressed up. So we'll be talking about that in 2024, but monk mode is this time that you set aside that you are focused on learning a skill. You're not going out with friends. You're not going and making plans. You're not doing things in an external social atmosphere. And you are just giving devoted time and energy to that effort, to that skill. Um, and again, I will put kind of what my, the framework of what my monk mode will look like uh, in the comments below. So you can have a little check sees there and you can Google it if you want to know what monk mode is or a little bit more about what I'm going to be stepping into. But what's really important for me moving into 2024 on YouTube is I do 
you want to learn editing skills. And so that is why um, my vlog will come out at the end of every month and it will be edited to share the experiences that I've gone through throughout the month and will give you guys a little bit more of a bird's eye view as opposed to me just kind of like sharing where I'm at in each moment. Um, and I really want to be able to take the the idea of monk mode and maybe at the end of January, I'm telling you what's happened, how it's working, what my stats are on YouTube and how I'm stepping into this next level of evolution that I'm truly excited about, which is my business done through the lens of my internal heart space, as opposed to reaching external validation or expectations or outcomes. So this is the last vlog of 2023. Details about my monk mode will be in the comments below. Please like, I just learned this on the weekend and I'm so excited to share it. I'm like, everybody like, so that I can begin 2024 with a little bit of like a umfa in the algorithm. And I'm excited. I'm excited for what 2024 has in store for all of us. If you are a spiritual entrepreneur, if you are an empath healer, a highly sensitive person, you do want to follow along this channel and subscribe because man, do I have some serious high vibing content coming for you about how, if you can't work for others, if you can't go into, like I can't work in out there in that world as a highly sensitive empath, stay tuned in this channel because there's going to be a lot of content coming specifically for you. I look forward to it all. Talk to you soon.